what's good you guys it's your girl e sauce and you're tuned into cbd tv and i know you see that i got a package and this is coming out of oakland california and um this is one that i've been excited to do for you guys and uh, let's get into it Y'all know I be having issues with my hands. I've been waiting on this and I'm excited. So um, let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got the paperwork. Oh, well that's cute. It came out, it came like a little tray. And this is from the company is called Can of Bliss. So like cannabis, but a can of bliss. Okay, they cute, they cute and shit. So there's how it come out. Like a little tray, there's a little can here. There's a little sticker here. And then they send some more um, stickers as well. And these are all cute. They just say, oh, find, find your bliss. Find your bliss. Look how cute that is. Ooh, I like these stickers. Can of Bliss with the little nugs in the back. Find your bliss, can of bliss. Those are cute. And then we got the can here. Okay, look. Look how it comes, y'all. Like, it's like a... It comes in the can, this little paper here. So it knows, you know, like tamper-proof type of thing actual image of contents they sent me sour space candy can number 16840 13.9 percent cbd and under 0.3 percent delta 9 cbd why they say scratch and sniff they... no look this right here says scratch and sniff No, and it smells like sour, like, no, that is, so, that's so cute. Oh my God, that's so cute. I can't wait. Can you believe it say that shit? Wifey in the back looking at me. I'm fucking weak, y'all. All right, so um, this is the paperwork that comes with it. Everything is really nice. I'm really, really, really loving this packaging right now. Um... Let's see, I certify the information as far as that is far. Okay, okay. Federal classific classification, so pretty much that it's legal. Licensed lab and grower information. It, it literally gives all the company information, like everything. All the company information on these two papers right here. And then in the back is a certificate of analysis, which is really cute. Um, this company, even down to like the details of the paperwork, you guys, I'm really, really loving this presentation. Certificate of analysis, sour space candy, 16.79 total cannabinoids. I'm re I really, really like this packaging, you guys. Okay, and I never had, oh my God. And on top of it, under, okay. So let me show you all this. This is a scratch and sniff, and in fact, it really does smell like like sourness like you are getting a, a hint of smell and then you open it up and I don't know if you guys could see what's on the can maybe I can get a glare on it but I'm gonna do a close-up on that the can is super cute it has like flower decal on it um, on the top here it says high CBD hemp flower sour space candy Scan to learn everything about your can number. Um, the weight is 3.5 grams. And then check out the bottom of the can. It's so cute. I don't know why I hold up my hand. Maybe you guys can see it better, but it's so cute. And I'm gonna, oh my God. And even on the back of the can, there's a little scan code right here, right here. This, I love this. 
I love this. The presentation on this has been the best, by far the best presentation that I've seen on any flower. All right, now let's pop this. There's even little grips here to open up, which makes it easy for me. Oh. Redeem this lid. I don't know if you guys can see, see it, but inside of this lid, it says, redeem this lid at cannabliss.com for free merch. This is cute. Okay, so it's sealed up like that. Okay, this is a little rubber thing. I really like that. I really like that. Um, we're gonna open up this can. Hopefully I could open it. It's kind of like a cat food can, just seal. And I, and I do, ooh, like sour space candy. As soon as I pop that, I got a whiff. I got a whiff. Wow. That was easy, it was fairly easy to open considering my hands have been really bad. What, Shadow? Oh my God, my cat is right here. She thinks I just popped a can of cat food. Here, you wanna smell this? That's that gas, that ain't that cat food. So you guys, what I'm getting aroma-wise is sour space candy. I did get a whiff, it is very, it's very pungent, very sour, and lem like lime-y. That's how, that's pretty much how I describe um, sour space candy. It's pungent and it's sour. It's like tart, and I do get like a lemon. More, not, not like so much of a lemon, but more of like a lime sourness to it. Oh, smells good, smells good, let me see show you guys kind of what it looks like in the can um, there's an eighth there the buds okay the buds are looking good <sighs> smells really good though I haven't had sour space candy in a while mm. okay so I'm gonna give you guys a close-up on these buds yeah yeah close-up for the smoke up Now these babies look really good, you guys. I'm getting a good color color tones from them. Light green, dark green, orange hairs, even some purple. Even I'm even getting some purple in here. Um, like I said, you guys, I really like this presentation. And it looks like there, it also says something at the bottom of this can. So I'm gonna pour these nugs in here and see what it says. So in here it says, Look up your unique can number at cannabis.com. Find your bliss. Oh, that's cute. Like I, the packaging, like I said, and on this has been a one. You guys, I haven't seen. I mean, I have. I've seen these kind of like can opening things, but I've never seen such a detailed packaging. And I really like this, and I think it's really clever. Uh, cannabis, and I'm, I really liking this. So let's give it a taste I don't know what this is I've seen a little bit something on these nugs here and I'm trying to figure out what it is can y'all see what I'm seeing? You see this like, looks like shiny in the nug, in the bud here. It's 
so this is what we're seeing um to me it looks like shards of metal it could be from the can i just want to get a good because it is like metallic like see how you can see it there so i will not be smoking this okay y'all so um y'all saw that i had found some pieces of i don't know what to me it looked like it could have been aluminum like metal shards from the can that was um, on a couple of these nugs right here. It was on three nugs, and I am going to message their customer service about that, just because you guys know me, and you guys know that I'm very particular about what I put in my body, and if something doesn't look right, I'm definitely gonna address it. But um, these nugs right here, there wasn't any um, of those pieces on it. And let me just do a double check before I break one down and put it in the bong. Yeah, these these buds right here, there was nothing um, on them. So we're, we're gonna give it a try and see how they smoke. Nope, this bud does have a little piece on it, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so about half, half of the buds in the can had those little pieces of um, what to me looks like um, some little tiny shards of aluminum from the can. But let's break some of this Sour Space candy down. And the consistency, the consistency, ooh, when you squeeze the nug, of course, you just get that pungent sour smell back. And uh, it just, it's, it's just extra pungent, super sour. I'm gonna throw some of this sour space candy in this bond, and we're gonna give it a nice little rip here. Cause y'all know I love me some sour space candy. Then you know, and that's a shame because I was really loving everything. I was loving everything. I was loving everything. You know what I'm saying? Then I I saw that if everything would have been good on this man, I don't know. It, it was too good to be true, I guess. Because I've seen like, I, and the reason I think it's like aluminum shards is because it was shiny, like, like it had like a like a metallic reflection when I would hit it with a flash. Cause I've seen how, you know, um, and hemp, like, you know how you can have like, how there's like hemp wick and like little pieces of like hemp, like straw from the stems or whatever, I've seen that. That looks different than what I seen here. So like I said, I'm gonna contact the customer service, let them know about it. But let's give this sour space candy a taste. Cheers, you guys. It got that good grab. It got that good grab, y'all. I haven't hit my bong in a while. That could be why. Uh, it got that good grab. Well, you know what? The taste on the sour space candy is as expected with the sour space candy. It's very sour. <laughs> it's sour, you know what I'm saying? Um, it has that tart, that tart like flavor to it as well. I just it's just like a sharp sour sour flavor with that earthiness and um with that earthiness and a little bit, little tiny bit of a sweetness that you kind of get behind it. Ooh. But yeah, you guys, um, overall, I love, I mean, 10 out of 10 on the packaging, like real shit, 10 out of 10 on the packaging, I really love it. Um, as, a, as a total um, whole, I'm gonna have to give it 
Um, if it didn't have them shards in it, I would literally be given this whole thing like probably a 10 because I really like the packaging that much. And the nugs, um, the nugs, they're, they're, there's a good moisture to them. They're not, it's not too sticky, but it does have, um, it does, it is sticky. Like it does have some stickiness to it. You know what I'm saying? Like it definitely does have some stickiness to it. Um, not super sticky, but it has a good moisture. Like I said, if it, if it, if I didn't see them little things in there, like if they weren't there, if that wasn't happening, if that wasn't an issue, would have got a 10 out of 10 because that is happening. And I do have to reach out to the customer service and let them know what's going on because I, I want a good product, a good healthy product, a good healthy smokable product. I want y'all to have the same exact thing. I do this for y'all because I, what I experience, you know what I'm saying? If I experience something bad, I don't want y'all to experience something bad. So we're, I'm gonna contact them. Oh yeah, it's definitely sticky. I'm gonna contact them so they can correct the issue. Other than that, everything was Gucci with Cannabis. But yeah, then they're gonna have to correct this. Thank you guys. Oh, and if you guys don't know, Sour Space Candy to me, because I've had Sour Space Candy multiple times, to me, Sour Space Candy is a good hybrid for me. You can smoke it at any time of the day, if, and it's gonna promote your vibe, your energy. So if you wanna be active, you can smoke this and be active. If you're tired and you want to relax, you can smoke this and relax. It's just, it's that good hybrid. Um, and yeah, man, you guys are tuned in. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. We on the grind on the way to 2K, y'all. Y'all know the Naughty Fan Bam gets all the love. If you guys want to check out this company and see what they offer and what other strains they have, you guys can visit them at www canofbliss.com and um, I don't have a discount code with them yet but if I do I'll put it down in the description thank you guys so much for tuning in love peace and blessings and I'll catch you on the flip side